नमस्कार एंड वेलकम बैक टू हेलो जिंदगी आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग गैप आई एम बैक अगेन टू शेयर सम लाइफ एक्सपीरियंसेस विद यू इन दिस एपिसोड आई टेक यू टू भूटान द लैंड ऑफ हैप्पीनेस वी मेड दिस रोड ट्रिप ऑन आर टाटा जेस्ट एक्समिस फर्स्ट टेक अ टूर ऑफ भूटान एंड देन I'll give you all the information regarding how to plan the trip, which are the important cities to visit in Bhutan, and what the budget would be like. Stay tuned. A long-awaited escapade got actualized on 6th October 2016 when Shubhendra Mahua and Indra, the dad, mom, and son trio, hopped on to their sedan. the tata jets to drive away to the land of happiness dad the lone with driving skills the courageous trio had all the faith to traverse the 890 km mountainous ride from patna to thimphu dad the travel master mom the navigator and son the entertainer pulled up their socks and took the patna muzaffarpur route to catch the east west corridor to reach siliguri feasting on the lush green paddy fields across the meadows through the tree garden the trio could not savor more the stiff mood of durga puja was apparent the city decked up with decorative gates and light young girls and boys meandering in the panda dhake raga and sweet melodies on the city fm high entertained us taking a break in the city of coronation bridge the trio moved for funsuling the gateway of bhutan the 3 hour long drive was minced with the joyous serpentine road of shivak valley in funsuling we got the immigration passes and the vehicle book this took the day and we decided to stay the night and relish the traditional machher jhol bhat in tripti restaurant of jaigaon strolling in the funsuling market we picked some bhutanese handicraft snacked in kizon bazaar and also stopped some bakeries for the nearest ride to thimphu early on the 8th october we bid adieu to funsuling and rode on to the 172 km long mountainous road to thimphu adventure and thr- let every narrow bend awaited us as we moved from bright sunlight to dark dense wilds we all got totally blindfolded for few seconds driving was a challenge but as vision resumed a small shrine with a waterfall alongside awakened our spirituality pristine nature bountiful himalayan valley flora and fauna well bred bovine friendly and lovely ladies were all our companions in the ride and lo the well architecture Royal Gate of Thimphu welcomed us and we entered into the home of His Highness Chikme Kese Namgya. Thimphu is a modern city with many restaurants, nightclubs and shopping centers. However, it still retains its cultural identity and value. Thimphu is the only capital city in the world that does not use traffic lights. Instead, at important intersections, one can find a Policeman standing in elaborately decorated mall pavilion directing the traffic. The bustling city is home to a lakh Bhutani including the royal family and is the main center of commerce, religion and government. We retired in Namsiling boutique hotel. We loved the hospitality and felt fresh in the vibe. We did some internet surfing to find out the places to visit and went off to bed early. The next day morning we drove to the Chula Pass and was was struck at the scenic beauty around The Bhutanese economy is agriculture. Farmers markets are common throughout the country, supplying the people with fresh, organic, local purchases. Chili is the mainstay of all dishes. Sim Toka Zong was the next destination, which is considered to have been built in 1629 by Namgyal. It is often said to be the first Zong built in Bhutan. The dark murals inside. are some of the oldest and most beautiful great buddha dodema is a gigantic sakyamuni buddha statue in the mountains of bhutan the statue is made of bronze and gilded in gold next day morning was our ride to paro 
a historic town with many sacred sites. The ride itself was ecstatic along the Paro Shu River. This picturesque region is one of the widest valleys in the kingdom, covered in fertile rice fields and has a beautiful crystalline river meandering down the valley. The country's only international airport is located here and is described as the most difficult commercial airport in the world. Rinpunzo, a fortress monastery overlooking the Paro Valley, has a long history. Built with stones instead of clay, the song was named Rinpo, meaning heaps of jewels. Near the end of the paved road, 14 km from Paro, stand the ruins of Drugel Zong. One can see the China border from this area. This probably is the last building bordering Bhutan and China. Along the main street of Paro is a complex of traditional architecture with richly decorated buildings, housing, wall pops and restaurants. We savoured some pizza and emadatsi, the national dish of Bhutan. Getting back to Thimpu was equally exciting along the Parashu River. A quick visit to Tashicho Zong, the seat of the government since 1952 and presently the throne room and offices of the king, the secretariat and the ministries of home affairs and finance. The next day, at the National Memorial Chotan, the Chotan is an extraordinary example of Buddhist architecture and artwork with its gorgeous paintings and integrate cultures. We then took a path back, a trip filled with adventure, thrill, exploration and enhanced knowledge. Apart from appreciating the natural beauty of this Himalayan kingdom, we could not stop admiring the excellent Gross National Happiness Index adopted by Bhutanese to assess national growth. Salute to the wonderful thoughts and pillars of the Gross National Happiness Index, equitable and equal socio-economic development, preservation and promotion of cultural and spiritual heritage, conservation of environment and good governance which are interwoven, complementary and consistent. The country which is 100% organic and having negative carbon zone where health services and quality education is provided free by the government, a country of spirituality, a land of true happiness which cleansed our souls and dropped us rejuvenated. Tashi Dalai, 